Hey what's up guys welcome to another exciting design tutorial with UX mate In this video we are going to learn how to create bulk styles right in our previous video we have uh, we have created a couple of styles for the colors for the typography and uh, how to create components and then how to publish a design style guide right so we had created the entire design system uh, kind of thing in our last tutorial so today we are going to learn how to you know create bulk styles because uh, uh, it is going to be time consuming when you know you have to set up a new design system for an organization for an or you know for your new project right so there could be a lot of colors there could be a lot of typography styles right then it becomes a bit difficult to go ahead and create you know the configure each and every element and then uh, create the styles like there is a lot of repetitive process right so today we are going to talk about two different plugins right one is to create the bulk styles another one is to you know edit your styles uh so like let's say for example you know you have to decided use a material library figma file right and then but you want to slightly make some changes into the colors or the typography right uh, based on your brand or project right so what we can do is we can simply get the figma file for the material design library and then uh we can simply go ahead and tweak it using the one of the plugins right so now first understand how to create a style so as at this point of time i don't have any style created here right uh, i don't have any local style i have removed all these uh, so what we are going to do first we'll be creating the color style right so select the colors frame here hit the enter to select the individual frames hit enter again to select the individual elements within them right and make sure guys you have defined the proper names to your objects right like uh, as you know i have defined your primary secondary tertiary contrast and then black dark text light text and then white right so uh, this naming is uh, you know essential part in the design system because uh, these names are going to be used by your you know uh entire design team because or you you know in future uh, it would be easier for you as well to find any particular style in the library right so make sure you are given you know proper namings to this uh, if you have you know uh, tints and shades of color then you know define a color for example blue and then you know uh, 20% 10% 50% whatever you know your shades or tints are then make sure blue 20 blue 30 blue 50 whatever naming convention you want just make sure you have given the proper names to the objects you know while creating the styles right so now uh, we'll go to the plugin and uh, you can you know type uh, styler s t y l l e r styler yes so uh, click on uh, you know the run and then you can see you know generate styles apply styles detach styles remove styles right uh, so what we have to do is basically we have to generate the new styles from our selection right we have already selected the objects just hit the generate style and boom that's it our styles are created in a single click right you don't want to do any you know fancy stuff select the individual elements go click on the you know styles define the name you don't have to do any of these things all your styles are generated real quick same let's do with the typography as well select the frame hit the enter button to select the individual elements within the frame right and go to the styler plugin again same procedure run generate style and you know it has created seven styles updated zero right uh, so now you can see you know your styles has been created let's say if you change any of these things you can you know still use the same plugin but i feel it is a bit you know difficult or a cluttered to you know use the styler plugin to modify the style so what i feel is you know uh, let's say i want to modify any of the style the the basic you know the the way is to you know go to your style and select uh, it from you know edit style or you know Uh, select any of the your assign style go here and you can do the edit from here as well that's fine but uh, uh, what if i want to do it you know edits for all of the uh, all of the styles let's say i want to change the font from roberto to you know some other maybe lato or something else so what i can do is i can go to the another plugin which is you know batch styler so run this plugin right uh, it will basically open its panel and it will uh, you know give you choice to select either text or colors right So let's say uh, let's select text and you know select all the styles you can select which styles you want to update you can do and manually update them but let's say I want all of the styles to be you know, <laughs> all of the styles to be updated you can you know change the styles for the individual from here you can you know change the font family let's use maybe lato now okay uh <coughs> lato yes 
uh, and uh, the weight is you know based on regular semi bold bold uh, whatever you know we have uh, predefined in our styles right uh, i guess it looks good me i can uh, it looks good to me i can you know go ahead and update the styles right so now you can see all my styles has been updated and when i you know try to apply any of the style to any you know text here it it would be you know now giving me let me just detach it okay it has given me lato right uh, earlier our font was roboto so yes the same way we can go for the colors as well and we can you know go to the colors we can select the colors right and then you know we can change the hex values uh, for each of the style real fast and you know you just have to change the hex values or you can you know change the hue saturation here and you know uh, uh, so let's make some some sort of you know change here a little bit uh, maybe let's let's try it you know something like this and then let's see okay so it has you know updated for uh, in the 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 colors or the styles uh, you can you know uh, select individual or you can you know select all and then you know change the let's say instead of white i want you know uh, some something like this okay and then you can do it you know update style so it will change your uh, styles and it will keep the name same right so uh, and you know with this you can uh, like uh, this changes will automatically you just have to go ahead and you know uh, up, up, update your publish your library and you know once you are published you just have to open the files wherever you use that library and just update it and you know sync up with the changes all your elements will be automatically updated based on your new styles right so uh, guys i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon next to it if you're not doing that definitely you'll miss a lot of exciting content yes stay tuned keep watching keep liking keep designing be creative